Good morning, Joe Neighbour here. And uh, yet again this week, I'll be going through some charts for you on the FX markets to give you an update on our view on where there are potential opportunities emerging uh, and uh, just running through, as I say, a breakdown from the FX world on a technical basis. So uh, in terms of the sort of latest news, um, we've got a number of things impacting markets at the moment. We've obviously got this Delta variant, particularly in the UK, uh, which is of concern. And of course, the inflation story, which continues to build. So today we've got the FOMC meet, um, sorry, Bank of England meeting, uh, which is due at 12 o'clock. There will be probably some commentary around rising inflation. Uh, but also we have a glut of data due out from the US later today at 1.30, including durable goods orders, uh, the first quarter reading of GDP, uh, and of course our weekly initial jobless claims number as well. So getting into the charts, this is the dollar index, which is always our starting point for when we look at the FX markets to give us an idea of what to expect in all the rest of the currencies that are typically impacted by the US dollar. So first up, we've got the daily chart on the dollar index, as you can see here. Now, my annotations haven't changed too much from last week because I'm still looking for the same kind of thing to potentially play out. Uh, this is the longer term view stretched out towards the March uh, highs that we saw of the dollar index around about the height of the pandemic and when it really started to take a grip. And as you can see, since then, the dollar index has traded much lower uh, and grinded lower on the weekly chart uh, and the daily chart. So interestingly enough in recent days what we've seen is a breakout of this uh, wedge or downtrend channel and if i zoom in here we can see that that actually happened there on the 17th of june so we've seen quite an impulsive move to the upside. We broke out of this resistance level here at 90.65 and the strength continued taking out the next resistance level at 91.43. Now we continue to see upside, um, but actually on the uh, uh, 21st of June, as you can see highlighted there by that candle, we saw an engulfing candle. So all of the previous day's session of gains was actually wiped out by this candle, uh, which often is a, a sign of a reversal. Um, for me, I think it's just an opportunity for a bit of froth to come off the top. We've seen a big move up uh, in the dollar index, something that we haven't seen for quite a considerable amount of time. And now what we're seeing is a bit of a pullback in the price action to test this newfound support, which was previous resistance at 91.43. So yesterday we saw a little bit of a move lower uh, initially, but we did see some buying step in just in front of this support level at 91.43. And we posted this kind of hammer looking candle in and around this support zone or the retest of the broken uh, trend line. So quite interesting, I think. Maybe we will see another pullback down to this level to actually give it a proper test before a continuation higher. But for me, it all looks quite positive for the dollar index in the short term. And obviously, given the concerns about inflation, uh, I know we're seeing indices, particularly the Nasdaq, hitting new all-time highs yesterday. So there's certainly no concern there from uh, a risk perspective. We're not seeing bundles of money come off the table uh, in regards to the tech names, um, but maybe there is some start of, you know, starting to, to build sort of defensive positions and, and maybe the dollar index is the go-to place for that. So um, how does that look then from the Euro, uh, Euro dollar side of things? Often it's the flip side of what we see on the dollar index. Uh, and again, my story is pretty similar here. I'm, I'm kind of looking for the same thing I have been looking for for a while. Now, obviously, when we saw the break up in uh, dollar index, that also meant that we saw a breakdown in euro dollar. And it all happened pretty quickly, to be honest. We saw some resistance form around here at 122.43. It failed to get above there on a closing basis. And then we started to see the selling really pick up. Big impulsive move down here, taking out these support levels at uh, 120.26 and 119.85. Uh, continue to see that move lower. And like we saw on the dollar index, we saw this attempt at a move higher uh, and we actually engulfed all of the losses that we saw on the 18th of June uh, on the next trading day, which was the 21st, the Monday, uh, and we started to push higher again. We did have a little bit of a push higher yesterday, intraday, before the sellers stepped in and that came in just in front of this new resistance level at 119.85. So, um, potential for uh, people to be fading uh, euro dollar strength into this move here and anticipating a continued move lower. Now, for those that may have seen this, I've got a head and shoulders pattern drawn on this chart. It is still a preemptive one. We haven't completed a head and shoulders top. So it is all speculation at this point. We can't classify it as a head and shoulders top until we see a break of the neckline. Now, the neckline 
comes in at this blue line here. It's an upward sloping neckline. So from a classic perspective, we need to see a break of this neckline, which today comes in at around about 117.62. A break below that level would confirm the head and shoulders top, and that may lead to some more aggressive to selling on the downside um, over the coming days, weeks, and months. Preference for me is to see a breakout below this support level here at 117.02 or 04. The reason that I say that is I always prefer to see a horizontal level taken out uh, because I feel that uh, uh, that's more of a stronger signal. So interesting place setting up. I think there's opportunities to be fading uh, euro US dollar into resistance levels and also buying anything dollar related uh, you know, into the weakness that we may see over the couple of days because I think we may be in the process of forming tops and bottoms in either of these markets. So that's a bit of a roundup for you on uh, dollar index and euro dollar. Hopefully it's helpful. I'll be back next week to see how this is playing out and uh, keep you informed of our latest uh, views on FX, uh, FX charts and FX markets. Until then, trade safe, guys. Bye.